Hey, hey, welcome everybody to that meeting, that South Africa meeting. Um, let me send the 20 minutes to the chat so you can add your name and let us know what you're currently learning. For me, currently learning about inner source. Um, and then what inner source is, is applying open source principles in a proprietary environment. So that's what inner source is. Um, so that's what I'm currently learning. Please let us know what you're currently learning. Um, I've sent the... Who is not learning anything now? The new year, don't, did, did you not have new year resolutions? <laughs> As me. <laughs> Okay, I, I even thought it was King's Day. Huh. <laughs> everybody's there. This January, everybody's learning something. Why Sorry, you know? King's Day. Uh, I, I, I think I'm on the... Mommy, what's going on? You have to type my name again. You know? <laughs> <laughs> As I said, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm on learning things now. Like, uh -huh. my head is very full. <laughs> Let me unlearn first before I start learning. <laughs> that's, that's that's a good one so like on learning things i think i've learned a lot of things last year it's time for me to learn new things steve steve is learning about webflow and framework <laughs> as well as well as how to cook nigeria so it's interesting <laughs> you want to tell us which one you prepared the last time very interested like what which of the soups have you done until so you've been learning Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, you said none yet. Who is that? Um, sorry for cutting you short. Oh yeah, someone said good afternoon. Oh, I am media. Yes. What I mean. I've I've been researching. I'm I'm currently working on um building a streaming platform for mobile, web, and um, smart TVs. So uh, I've, I've been. I've been researching HBO Max, Paramount Plus, and every other platform out there, and looking for looking for ways to to better the um, search experience because that's one problem each of them have. The like, when, yeah, when you say search experience, is it like when people like for me when I know when I'm watching Netflix, if I try if I pick a movie, it's like a long journey. I, I can even eventually just search and just get that and watch so is that what you mean by like improving the search experience? Yes, like on, on Netflix now, users can search by either categories or, or genre of movies. When I mean category, either TV series or, or movies or just um fun content because um Netflix now has um a, 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 a section whereby it's just um, slides, I mean slides, shots rather. So yeah. shots from, from movies, yeah. So it, listen, usually it, it, you, you could check the accounts that those shots are from, but in cases like this, Netflix, it's, it's from Netflix. So there is, no, there is no profile for, to view who those shots are from. And then there are sometimes users want to search for a particular shot and probably download it and, and things like that. But that, that aside, when it comes to the main thing, categories, um, TV shows, searching for either um, action movies, adventure or children movies, they, yeah. they, can't, they can't. And on the home section, Netflix has this end, endless scroll where you have to just- Yeah, I know, right? That, that thing is so annoying. It's not endless. Yeah. And then you can't, you can't niche down like and you can even start maybe by actor or maybe production companies and yeah it, it's like that and that's and for, okay I'm sorry so I just, no, 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 no. I, I was just commenting that like that very, very interesting like what, what you're trying to do because it's true that i might want to search for by like my favorite actors or you know my career producers or something Yes, exactly. So, uh, and for for Prime, for 
okay no also netflix netflix suggests movies that are similar that is if so if you search for uh and also as nigga now if, if you search for sorry a move a marvel movie or you search for like robert Downey jr if, if, oh sorry if you start for iron man let's say iron man that character robert Downey jr. Right. Sherlock Holmes and other movies, Dr. Dolittle, like other movies that he has he has played. So it, it just brings you um everything, like it just it just bombards you with with results. Yeah, that's cool. I get that. That's yes. like that's really cool. Maybe we'll connect with that and like you, I can share some ideas with you. Sometimes okay. I want to do so. So yeah, um, if you're just joining, we're just trying to like uh, you know. Tell each other what you are learning. I see some people are learning about um, so people are studying for exams, Faith and Victoria. It's what CCNA. Is it? I know it's related to Kubernetes. Is it? Okay, yeah. CCNA is um is an so, entry level. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, Victoria. Okay, it's an entry level certification for IT professionals in networking and um know how the interconnectivity of devices how to set up a networking and mm -hmm. organization so that each computer can communicate you know you can do an in-house network then you can then connect it to the computers sorry to the internet you can create restrictions for network for some computers to access, uh, access some servers so it's just um knowing how to the right cables to use or the right uh, routers or switches to use to create a, a network of computers. And the main goal is for the computers to be able to communicate with each other according to how you want them to communicate with each other. Yeah. That's, so that's right. the, an entry level certification to certify that, okay, you know how to, you know, you understand networking and you can set up a network. Yeah, interesting. I wish you good luck in your exams and hopefully come share that good news that you passed. Um, and see Faith too. I wish you good luck in your AWS exams. Um, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, Mary Blessing, Valentine. I'll think about it. <laughs> but yeah, um, so welcome everybody. Uh, I will hand over to my blessing she's the one facilitating so i just had to do that chit chat but well, it's really nice to see everything that everybody's learning and i see some a bit of connection like kinsley and steve they're learning about webflow so i see a bit of connection so i hope um you can connect later with each other to you know learn more about what other people are learning so my blessing over to you yeah the one facilitating today so I'm okay <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi Ruth. Um, good afternoon. So you know when I joined in, and you were just you know enjoying yourself. I thought you wanted to like take the section. Oh, and, uh... I'm not. <laughs> oh, okay, just... awesome. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, welcome everybody. This this is our second meeting for the year, yeah. And yeah. um, so do we have any newcomers with us today? Newcomers. Do we have anyone? That just recently joined. So if this is your first time joining a, a chaos this meeting. This is my first time for Chaos so, Africa, but there was a meeting I attended two weeks ago. Oh yeah. Oh, I remember you yeah. <laughs> I remember, oh no, don't be confused. So that's the main <laughs> chaos. Um I think one of the working groups meeting that you joined. Um I'm trying to recall. I was also in that meeting. Yeah, I was also I think it was the communications um working group you were in because I know Gio was there, Elizabeth was there. Yes, yeah, Elizabeth and, was there. And you were okay, there. So yeah. so this is my first time for I see, uh, I've not met you before. You see, so I was correct. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I didn't I didn't I didn't know I didn't know there was a difference. I thought it was the same meeting. Oh, oh okay, they are actually different. Uh so yeah, they're actually different. So Victoria one, who else? Um just who else? Well, um, I think I'll count Belimaz in a while because this is the first time I've seen her this year. So, who is that? <laughs> Belima. This is the first time. Oh, I've seen her. Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, Happy New Year. Um, Belima, is this your first time joining the Chaos African call? Oh no, that? this is the first time I'll this look, year. <laughs> 
Oh, this is the first time this year. Okay, not the first time. Okay. <laughs> uh, what about Steve? What about Steve? Um, have, you, have you seen Steve around this? Yeah, Steve yeah. has joined us before. Yes, I think so. Uh -huh. uh, okay, cool. So has Victoria introduced herself? If no, she has. Yep, yep. Victoria, so you have the floor. Please tell us what you do. Um, how you heard about chaos and you know maybe what you what you um want to gain from the community just anything interesting about you okay good afternoon everyone my name is Victoria and um I work as um, an IT support staff in a web hosting company and we you know we take um requests from clients to help them resolve their website issues when their website is throwing an error. So we do that. We I'm, Currently, I work on calls. So I take requests via calls and I resolve um, website issues that our clients are currently having over the call. Then um, I, after I started working as um, an IT support staff, I became very interested in computer science and you know information technology generally because i studied accounting in school but when i got into the field i found it really interesting and i decided to find you know a specialty something that i i i just decided i was going to build a career in the it industry so so far i i started off as learning you know basics of um programming languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Python. Then I realized that since I have experience in operations, you know, not, not basically um, software development, but just operations, um, working with servers, maintenance of servers, I decided to, you know, get a certification that will show that, okay, I'm an IT professional somehow because I didn't study accounting and I want to build a career off. I want, I want to build a career in the IT industry. So, so far, have, it has not been easy finding a roadmap, you know, to where I want to get to. So I heard about open source from a colleague and he was like, Victoria, you can, build, you can start building up a career via open source and I was like, what is open source? He said I should go online. And fortunately when I went on Twitter, I saw Ruth's page and I was just going through the page trying to learn more about open source. Then I saw this um, link where she posted that if you would like to contribute to the chaos community, I registered and I explained that I do not know anything about open source and I would like to see what I can do with the skills I have. Before then, I heard of open source, but, but I always felt it was for software developers, people that know um, one form of programming language or the other, or are working with it already. I do not know how I would be able to contribute in any way to open source, but I decided to join the community anyways. And um, two weeks ago, I, I worked on this task where um, Precious posted a task and I worked on it and I was like, okay. So I was happy to be able to contribute somehow, even without a programming um, knowledge or being able to work uh, with software and all. So that's all. Is there any other thing anyone wants to know about Victoria? <laughs> oh, that's really cool. I'm, I'm glad you also made the first contribution, so yay. Nice. Yay, I'm glad to like, you know, you usually have people come in and for like weeks or months, they don't even understand what to do or, you know, how to go about contributing, let alone contributing. That's amazing, Victoria. I mean, good to hear that you made your first contribution. Yay, awesome, awesome. I mean, if you want to know more about Victoria, you can chat her up in the DMs. Slack. <laughs> On Slack, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so she okay, uses a lot uh, to know about her. <laughs> Welcome, Victoria. Right, I know, right? <laughs> Thank I know, right? So, um, so we're going to be getting updates, um, 
from different um, focus groups. So we have different working groups in chaos and working groups are like, um, you know, um, what subgroups or sub this sub community now subgroups in chaos that help to handle different aspects of things. So we have the design, the developers, um, the CM, which is community managers, technical writing, um, focus group research as well, right? So and these different working groups they have the different um, responsibilities that they hold. And we also have people like spearheading these groups for us. Um, I think first we have the developers group, which is like headed um, by Enoch. Is he on the call? Yeah, Enoch is here. I, I Hi, Enoch. <laughs> Enoch is in the world. How are you doing? Yeah, um, it's been happy new year. Yeah, happy new year. Happy new year. Yeah, you see. <laughs> Uh, so okay, great. Um, any any update for us? So what's what's been happening in the developer space in Chaos Africa? Okay. Um, thanks for this opportunity. I am. Um, I don't know whether people have had chance to check how the website looks like. Marshall Kingsley, who is the designing lead with um, his with his colleagues, but um. um Okay, she's loading it up, but I would say the site is actually in the basic stage that everything is up and it just needs to begin being tweaked and modified and also punched up, but all basic information is already on the site. Um, I'm sure, Ruth, you're looking for the link to the site, aren't you? Um, have you not seen it? Can you not see my screen? Okay, yep. So um, um, we've had folks, I don't know how many pull requests there have been that have led up to this development here. Um, um, but if you can see, scroll down, oh, you are counting the pull requests. We've had people that have um, tried to make 41, wow, 41 closed pull requests of contributions from Chaos Africa community members. So um, um, I, I, we, we had open issues, which only one wasn't yet taken up. The others were assigned, though the people that um, the issues were assigned to have not yet really been responsive. I don't know how to, how to gauge whether they are working on them or not. But, um, and these design issues that are actually down there are for Kingsley, they're not really mine to assign and <laughs> look for people because I don't know what he really wants, but the ones that are really development related are actually all taken up apart from one. So um, um, I which, want to say that, is... which one, if you see design, just know King, Kingsley is the one to answer, is answerable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if you scroll up, my the, the first ones, um, that one, the second one, the third one, which actually has a pull request, the one that you've seen, which is failing, and then there were five, but two have two were closed off because they were already worked on. I closed them off, and um, and um, we remain with only three. So after these three. I am going to assume that our website will be 85% um, done on the UI on the front end side. The 15% will be for tweaking those things, shaping it up, animating it and making it look a little bit better and responsive the way it needs to be. But otherwise I want to say thanks to the contributors in any way from design, content creation, development, and also um, TK, I don't know whether he's on the call. Um, uh, if he's not, also Kingsley and his team, they've been doing a great work. But um, I'm only waiting for those pull requests. I think I'm going to ping these people after this call and see whether they are working on the, on the issues or not. If they are, I want to know how long they are taking or how far they have gone. If they're not, I will reassign those issues. After those issues have been worked on, um, we are we shall be left with only designing that. Um, we shall be only left with polishing up. I think I'll create issues in case. 
the different Pardon? pages the different pages the different pages mm -hmm. we have to we have we have two pages but one can't be linked now the page for the okay uh, i don't know which page you're clicking on you're on the okay. home page actually i'm at the if home I'm... page so i just clicked on about or something is coming up it doesn't go there the project page won't be there okay this was that this was the plan with kingsley we had planned that um we are going to first work on this page before the year ended and okay. then the, the the pull request that the two pull requests that you that, that are not yet submitted if you could go back to github as like, i'm also on my phone or the P, P, you just one pr that's just here do you mean on the issues no i mean the open issues okay so when you look at the open issues mm -hmm. um, um it the second the second open issue is a whole page okay the, th the the first open issue is a section of a page but the other sections of that page have already been implemented that they are, they are the components are already there they will just need to be fixed in so that the page becomes a whole page okay okay i think yeah. i can so um logically if these two pull requests are submitted in the website will be done because all components will be there and um, they will just need to be rearranged to form the third page okay yeah so um i will ping the people here and then see what they're up to i think before next week so that at least we know how to proceed with this but otherwise i think when this is done um we're going to start the, on the back end of integrating um the the of integrating the, the the application process onto the website depending on how this depending on how fast this will be done otherwise that's basically all on the website okay um thank you you know so um is there is there a plan to have a a meeting like because if people want to get involved like is there a plan to i know initially we had like a timeline for everything but that that's had not been going on is there a plan to have that or everything that will be done is think yeah um, um i want to, i want us to use um the time we are using on tuesdays um random tuesdays and mm -hmm. i think next next tuesday um we may have one of those meetings the dev meetings for updates and um anyone who'd want i don't remember the time but ruth i think you remember yeah uh, it's like 10 10 a.m eh? yeah 10, 10 a.m wat time that's um i think that's yeah, so yeah, yeah. so um we need we're going to have one next tuesday and then because the meetings are not like um every every tuesday but when it's necessary so next tuesday we shall have one mm -hmm. okay yeah I have to drop off the call because I'm going in for another call that really starts on time. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Enoch. For but in case there are other updates that are all communication, you can slug me or tag me in any of the messages. Yeah, so just yeah. taking part from Enoch. I was just... hoping to make some point, but I'm not going to be talking so I can Okay, yeah. Oh. So right. I want to drop for people that are interested in development so it's not just the badging website that are that is ongoing like or that we have i think there's also the discourse um discourse and i think i'm right um so if if people are interested there's a discourse there are so many issues that are open for we are we are migrating not like we are migrating but we are trying to move have an instance on discourse i don't know if people know about discourse um, so we're trying to have that instance on this course and there are open issues that are here. I'm trying to see, find the discourse site. It's already, we already have an instance running. Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to find the link here. If anybody finds the link. Okay, yeah, I think yeah. I find okay. this is so we have like um hi Tochuko. 
I think you missed you know if except you were here when you know was talking for oh, I wasn't um I have it I've said it in my anyway good afternoon everyone yeah so you know gave both it on the margin website but he said um there will be a meeting on Tuesday so that you can coordinate better okay that's fine thank you okay um, so like we have this discourse um platform. We are still working on this, and this is another development project that can be of interest to anyone interested. There's really no one person that is doing it, right? This is the instance for now, and this can look better because if I show you other ones, you'd be wild, right? So, but there are issues that are open here. I just want to mention that in case people are interested, like there are issues about um discourse any of them with discourse like let me send this link to the side to the chat any of them with discourse here um is under the discourse project and you can check them out and you know explore wanting to fix them and make our instance look better because there are a whole lot of things we need to update here and why we are moving not like we are moving away from slack but we need to like this course would help us store information better so that's why we are and discover information better. So that's why we're having we want an instance on this course. That's, so this is the whole chaos community project. So it's not an yeah, so this is another project that people can get involved with. I just want to mention that. Um, does anybody have any question on the development side? Um, if you have any question on the website, so Tochuku can answer because Tochuku is here. So if anybody yeah. has any. Hi, Omotola. Hi. Oh, is here. Welcome. Yes, I'm here. Hi, everyone. Well done. Hi, Montella. Um, cool. Does anyone have any question on the development side? But you can answer, or I think I can answer too. Uh, maybe Tochuku could just help them know what um stack we are using. Yeah, to look. Yeah. For okay. Um. All right, thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, basically, we're using React. You know, we're just using React JS, yes, and um, we have to configure our own um, um project structure, not the not the no, well known Great React project and all that. We have to start from scratch to enable everybody to participate and also have a good understanding about how things work generally. And then, um, yeah, we're using Webpack to bundle a uh, production file. And, um, you know, of course, before we push to the cell. So, yeah, just react and, um, you know, call on understanding about JavaScript generally. Yeah. So, that's it. Thank you for that, Tochko. Um, so any, anyone who has like a JavaScript skills or React can always pick up any of these issues on GitHub. I think I'll probably just share the link to some of these issues later on. Can we just hear me? Uh, hello? I hope you guys can hear yes. me. Yes, we can hear you. Oh, can you hear you? Hello? Tochko. Can anyone hear me? Yes. We can't hear. Yes, I can't hear. Your voice is breaking. Can. Oh, it's not just from my end, right? Um. Yes, you know, I, can I, hear, I can hear. You. Yeah, I can hear you. Um. Please, um, I also wanted to point out. Can you? Hello. Yeah. Go ahead, Tuchuku. We are hearing you now. I think. Hmm. Tuchuku. Yeah. Metal. Metal. And that is easy. <laughs> oh, he left. He left. It's network. Hey, MTN. Oh my. It's MTN. MTN is doing things. Yeah, you see, terrible things actually. <laughs> okay, so while we wait on Twitch, to just come back and probably ask where you went to ask. Um, Kinsley, can you give all of this on the design um, focus group? Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Okay. Hello. Oh, my network is yes, like, yes, you know. Yes. <laughs> okay, um, so. We can ask. Hmm. Pardon my voice, I just had to do this thing over the weekend. 
So um, the on the design aspect of stuff, um, I think we've not really had a lot going on um, in between last week and this week. Um, one of the reasons just being that, um, you know, I don't know, after the break, a lot of questions just seems to, um, I don't know, yet to resume or something. So even the challenge we have at the moment is that some of the people that handled some of the screens and some of the screens are not completed. So some of them are not around. So what I intend doing, I've already gotten a list of some of these screens that are yet to be completed for the mobile. Okay, someone, someone shy. Really okay, so um, I wanted to share my screen just in case we have um, other designers interested. So. Okay, sure. Let me let me stop sharing. Sorry about that. Yeah, you can share now. Okay, so. So, um, for example, I, I think last week we had a call last week. I had a call with um, um, some of the new designers joining the platform, um, Chaos, actually. So we, um, for example, this particular screen, now the issue I have personally with this is that this is too long, the scroll time and everything for user interacting with this. So, but then the person that worked on this, hasn't resumed yet. So I've taken note of all those, I, I think virtually all the mobile screens, you know, most of the, the guys that do our needs not resume. So what I intend doing, but I'm also very careful because the last time in I had an assigned project on duty, that resulted in some conflict. And all. So I'm very, very careful right now to reassign a project that someone was already working on. Well, I think that's kind of like the level we are now. Or well, um, by next week, we should be able to clear all this out and maybe close some of the issues. Because even some of the issues are, um, you know, pointed out on GitHub. Uh, some of those issues are actually in progress, actually. So for the event badging page, which is what you can see here. Um, large events page, we're looking at ways to um, uh, make this more responsive, you know, kudos to, I think, wisdom and you know, we're actually on this screen. And um, we have, um, we also have the about us page. And so it says what we have is basically trying to just clean things up and you know, make things more smooth and better for data um, that's le the level we are right now, and um, um, every other thing is just stuff happening in between. Uh, there's still a few tasks like visual design tasks, and you know, and I also noticed that I think most persons joining are product designers, or I don't know if people have um, maybe graphic design skills and feel feel that they can't contribute except to your know, product designer. So there are actually a whole lot you can still do as a visual designer, illustrator, whatever design stuff, you know, you know, you can handle. So we still need a lot of other design um, field in what we do besides product design. So I um, that's the feedback for now. And um, I I think uh, you have more coming from the design space from last week. So. Thank you so much. I don't know if you have questions. Um, does anyone have questions for Kinsley? So just to add to what he said uh, about other things, you know, being done in the design, I think things like um, the Twitter spaces um, design graphics, you know, those are other things you could also contribute to. So, but what, what I don't know is how the flow goes, Kinsley. Is it that when we need designs for events like that, they, we open up an issue or how does it work? Okay, so if um, 
of course, if the uh, the design is not an urgent design, right? So uh, it's just safe to open an issue uh, on okay. GitHub. Yeah, but um, just to ensure that you know things are being done smoothly, and you know this is design. They yeah. certainly have a pattern, right, and a style which we probably have to abide to sort of to guide any designer that wants to work on the project. Yeah, do we have like a style guide? Um, uh, yeah, it's still part of what we are building, even like part of what I, um, I'm also working on for the visual design aspect. And um, mm -hmm. together with uh, together with Lamy, which is also doing a great job yet, so we are still working to on that for, yeah. Yeah, so Lamy has really been very supportive. So together with Lamy, we are still working on this too for, for the UI aspect of stuff. So I think I, I, I am actually using other software for the visual design, but it's really not a big one for some stuff. So um, there's also a, a guide that like trying to create color themes and all that that we can use for our template and also. Um, if it's actually a long term stuff and it's not urgent, then we can open an issue for it. I think currently, Rich shared actually a task with me, which I have I don't know if John is here. So, um, so it, that's it. So, if it's long term, uh, maybe there's still time and maybe people can look it up and contribute. So, we can open up. I think anybody, not just me, or of course, maybe sometimes open data and I'll probably open that oh. up and assign it to someone on GitHub. Oh, okay. Which you have a question. Please go for it. Yes, yeah, so I was going to suggest, I don't know if this, because um, I, I feel this um, Figma is not very accessible to everyone. I was going to ask Kinsley, do we need yeah. to open like a repository on GitHub to kind of store all these um, things that you have been doing, like design things that have been doing, like for example, the flyers, like we can't store the entire um, website on like the pages but something like the flyers i don't know does that make sense or will it be too much of um uh, no i don't think anything that will have just make it accessible people can, open, people can open like um issues there like if um there's something that needs to be fixed i open an issue on but because i, I feel lately why like what i've been doing is just directly ask you right um but yeah. if, if there was like, and sometimes I open like, if it's on the community repository, I just open, or Elizabeth opens an issue on the community, but usually it's just being in the Slack, in like via DM. So I was, I was thinking what's a way to make it more open and accessible to everybody, because sometimes people, I, I think this Figma link is not really accessible to everybody. I don't know. Um, okay. Um, I well, just to be sure, I, I got your point too. You know, we also have, um, for example, Maxwell shared uh, this Google Drive link, the one he was using then that has um, some of okay. the design assets, um, you know, and all that. So, like, we also have that. The, the, I know sometimes the communication when it comes to maybe the visual design part, since no one has really been, you know, handling that of like before now. You know, so as always been like between the book of us and maybe I just shared with you and that's just maybe so, but I don't know. I think I'll be pushing some of those stuff to the drive. And um, I don't know, maybe the one Maxwell shared or the one you shared last in the DEI budget meeting we had. So I don't know if it's kind of like it's the same thing or we can still go with GitHub so that maybe anybody joining the, you know, or interested in contributing may not have access to the drive immediately, but certainly be able to maybe access our resources on GitHub. Okay, I think I think maybe I'll also like talk with Elizabeth to like give you something we want to like just open up a repository that would just be for design and just don't anybody that wants to see what's been going on in design or wants to open up an issue can also like use that means. Okay, thank you so much. So very blessing. I think I will give the mic here. Oh yeah, awesome. Thank you for the update, um, Kinsley. That's that's 
quite a cool um, progress so far. Um, so for technical writing, I, I'm not sure, is it precious? Um, Sorry, reading Lam, Lam is on, is on, is on. Oh, so, oh Sorry, Lam is just go. Sorry, it's, no, it's, it's fine. Okay, thank you. Go. Yeah, um, um, I remember in one of our um, design meetings, we got you, um, you put us through a GitHub tutorial of how we could put design contributions. So would this um, new um, idea, would it be different from that? Or is it like maybe we would, we would not need to do that and then this would be what, would, this new stuff would be what we need to do? Because I know that we've not, we've not been doing that actually. Yeah, I, I think it would be the same thing, right? To be the same flow to so just put and and then GitHub is something that is useful for designers as well. I think it will still be the same flow, but we just need to know if is, is it better we just open the issues on the specific repositories that need those design help, or should we have is one repository that is like chaos design? Do you get what I'm saying? So we just need to identify which way works best, and then it still be the same flow, I guess. I, I I think okay. that, I I think I, I I believe that maybe one repo will do the work rather than have like um maybe different projects that with relatable designs I don't know but maybe just as if you have, you have things just kind of... yeah true and I I I vote on that one repo thing better because yeah. I I feel it would help a lot but yeah that. I, I, I agree. I agree with Kingsley too and Roots. I agree. I agree. One repo would do the work too. Um, um, okay. Sorry. Yeah, go for it. I also agree. <laughs> but given that um the badging website is like a, a a different project, like a sub project for the Chaos Design um Af Chaos Africa Design Group, how would that work? Like, how would we be able to would it be like um, chaos design would have like a different repository and then the issues would be there and then it won't be the badging issues um specifically now it won't be on the badging website repo to be on that repo yeah i see I, as you just analyze it now it's, it's beginning to get very confusing <laughs> but <laughs> i guess we'll figure it out <laughs> yeah it's okay yeah. Okay. So I, I was asking, like, who is like leading the technical writing team? Uh, is it precious? It's precious. No, no. I think I think I can talk about that. I, I don't know. Oh if, yeah, sure. Um. So I I think last year um was Sophia Enoch that kind of um shared some ideas that we can you know put up for like social media last year. I don't know what this ritual means here. So I don't know. I've just seen that ritual for the first time. It's, it sounds very okay. Awful. Yeah, yeah, I think ritual would be something like something we do like on a regular, maybe weekly basis or like weekly basis. I mean Nigeria it sounds off. But uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah so she she shared Make sacrifices to the gods. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so she shared this um these ideas that we can use because our Twitter, I think our Twitter has our Twitter is, is getting to 1000 followers. So yay. <laughs> but um so she shared some ideas that we can share on the Twitter. That was last year. And then some people picked up things that they could do. Then I think the first thing we did was uh, sorry, let me increase my text. So the first thing we did was this um one like I, I'm I'm sure like many people saw this and I've been I've been sharing this this thread a lot with different people that asked me about speaking right so it was really good we got a lot of engagement you know people like I put like the the specific stats I think we got over seven thousand impressions on these tweets um then like you know. 300 engagements like up to 34 people visited the profile so they were like i put in details of the stats in that technical 
tech writers focus group but yeah so this this was a good experiment like for this one it was really really very very helpful people found it helpful i have been sharing it to people like it was just a trade of like different um open source events and where you can apply to become a speaker or even attend and be funded right so this is something we can keep doing because then conferences come up every time so that was one of the ideas here right uh, and then someone I think the last meeting we had was someone um worked on that's um Dami Lola worked on another idea we just did that case a so this is the next thing we are doing um alternative open source alternative tools and this is the next thing we are doing and I think what is left here is for Sophia I've not seen her lately but so I was going to tag her to create the image for this because I feel a lot of people um engage like this image was really really nice and it, it helps it also gets a lot of engagement so I think yeah so um basically we are so trying to I'm going to tag Sophia to create the image for this but this is another thread that will be coming up soon and this was created by Dami Lola so there are other ones that I am yet to review or we are yet to review right there are like two people that submitted some other ideas too because like everybody took something here you can see there are different people here so there are some things that I have not reviewed yet or we have not reviewed as a team but the last thing we did um that was in the last meeting was to just um review this one and work on it together so this is something that should go up next week yeah but aside social media content you're also looking forward to making blog posts very soon um there's also the communications working group for anybody interested in that so there's a, like a working group and they have their meeting like 30 minutes so there's a working group as well I, and specifically i'm looking for someone that wants to volunteer to update the social media calendar we have a calendar but because i i am mainly sorry i mainly post stuff on the twitter so sometimes i forget to go and update the calendar and i it's, if anybody is willing to update that calendar you know, volunteer to even create more content for us because i mainly do that the content the casual content or share articles like articles that you find that are open source related or articles that you are writing as well i think something i've been doing is also share articles that people in the community are writing about you know, different things ideas just let me know. I'll post it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the update from that group. Um, your blessing you can go ahead. Yeah, thank, thank you. Um, so I was also like, how many was it? Was it? I was also going to say for like the place where you were waiting for Sophia now to design the image. Uh, maybe something we could also um, you know, open an issue for. Um, yeah. Instead of waiting for Sophia, right? I mean, I think we were talking about this earlier on. Open an issue for it, and who knows, somebody might be interested to come up with a cool design for it. And yeah. we could. Oh, you know. I think, yes, I, I think I would take the action item to. Oh, no, anybody can take the action item, please, if I will forget. But we have a Chaos Africa repository, just so you know. So anybody can take the action item to open that issue. Opening an issue is contributing to. So. Mm. oh okay okay um, maybe you could press it on the group on the chat or maybe uh, okay. nobody's updating the meeting minutes hey god though. <laughs> uh, uh, this is this is the repository anybody if you can open an issue talking about creating an image here let me send this link to this too if you can open the issue, say it's about sign. Thank you. So I, I will put it in the, I'll put all this information in the meeting minutes later. When I'm, okay. okay. I think I have, I still have some of what everybody said in my head. So. Yes, I, I have some too. So for the, for the contest calendar, um, I was going to ask like, what's, how does it look like? So when you say you host um Twitter spaces and you forget to update, what, what do you usually update? Um, Maybe I could take it I'm, now. Let me yeah. let me let me show you what it looks like. This was created by the communications working 
group. So we have like a sheet. We have our own sheet. Let me see. Sorry. Um, yeah, so we have our own sheets like Chaos Africa. If you can see the bottom, I don't know if anybody can see the bottom. Chaos Africa contact on that. So it's just like putting in, like tracking what is happening, right? Oh, like okay. been doing a very bad job with putting in, like I put some things in like a week, but did a very bad job at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember this sheet. I remember when we were also like making changes to it. Elizabeth was on the call. So, um, okay. So, yeah. I mean, I could I could do this um, Thank whenever you. any event occurs in the in the social media accounts. Okay. Okay. okay awesome. So, um, research. Um, Anita, right? Anita. No, I don't. I don't, I don't think. It's, let me. Let me. Do you want to say something? We haven't done much. <laughs> yes, um, we've not done. Uh, We've not had our first meeting this year. Or oh, I'm, I'm thinking by next week we would have that and I've had our first to... meeting. <laughs> oh, have we? <laughs> okay, I'm the one that's not attended. <laughs> okay, oh, why are you guys? Okay, um, I'll join next up to Ruth. Maybe you could speak on that in the last meeting. Yeah, we are still so the survey that we did last. The survey that we did uh, last year, so that's what we are still doing, like analyzing this survey. I don't want to show people's emails like this. Okay, so because this is being recorded, I don't want to show people's emails. But yeah, so we did like that survey last year and we're we are in the process of analyzing this survey, um, trying to like get data back from it and create a report. So that's what's been going on. And if anybody's interested in, um, contributing to that we have that skills africa dash researchers focus group you can just indicate interest like i would add you to we have a meeting a bi-weekly meeting so i don't want to just show people's emails because i opened that spreadsheet people's emails are like everywhere so yeah so that's what we have been working on i think i'm giving kingsley we still here the so we need to we need to design there's a let me try to see if i can show that there's a kind of like a document that Adeyinka did that has like the, the, what do you call it? The quantitative analysis. Let me try to share that screen and see. Okay, yes. So this is like the quantitative, if I'm correct, quantitative analysis. So you can see the distribution by age, by gender, by country. You can see that Nigeria is everywhere. <laughs> we got like people from Cameroon, Kenya, but Nigeria was more. Like these are these were the questions we asked in this survey. Uh, mm. what if, yeah, so have you contributed open source? Because like 58%. How long have you been contributing? We've got more people saying less than a year. How have you been contributing? Mm mostly code people documentation like these are different ways people have been contributing and then like we do we had like a question at the end but we also have like the qualitative one where people were we ask for feedback so th that's what we are currently trying to you know getting like analyze that data and kind of like get get um, a lot of things out of that so that's we, we are done with the quantitative analysis part and this pdf i'll share it with kinsley to kind of like make this look prettier like more better because it looks very bland. So that's what's the qualitative aspect now. That's what we are working on. Like, because we asked a couple of questions about how we can improve open source in Africa, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So that's what okay. I'm okay, thank you. Um, I also feel like some people would be wondering like um uh, what we need to use this data for. Would you would you mind to like um just touch on that? Yeah, true. True. So why we the, the initial reason we wanted to create this um this survey was to try try to assess, like look at what is the state of open source in Africa, right? The challenges because Chaos Africa, the goal is to help open source communities um, you know, create metrics and you know, 
look for sustainable ways that they can um, maintain their communities and all those stuff. So we started with getting feedback from people that contribute to open source in Africa. So the idea is let's get this feedback. Let's see what is the current state and where we can um, improve on. So that's that's the goal of this survey mainly. So if you're interested in if you're a data analyst, you know, interested in meddling with data, please do reach out to the Chaos Africa Research Group. So let me stop. Yes. How do I stop sharing then? Jeez. Yes, yes. Thank you for that. Um Ruth. Um so for the CM, we're running out of time now. For CM, Ruth, you want to speak on that? <laughs> I know we I also know that. I need to drink water. <laughs> <laughs> it's not drink water. Oh, yeah. Boy. Yeah. So for the, I mean, anything I miss, you could just pick up from there. Uh, for think, the CM. Okay, go on. I think what we're just working on is trying to, trying to have a meeting. That's, that's what you're <laughs> That's all. just trying to have a meeting. That's all. But, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And nobody has really been turning up um, recently. So it's just been myself and Ruth for the CM um, focus group. So, but if you're interested in community management and open source, you can always, um, yeah, join, join the focus group. So it's an indicate interest and you, you'll be added to the channel. Uh, I think that's a good way to start and join our meeting. Okay, um, I think that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Cool. So I think that's all. This this four p.m. already. So, um, I mean, if you have further questions, you can okay. on. You like okay. if you want to say something before the end of the meeting, just don't want to. Yeah. Um, I want to ask what was the time for the meeting. The community um, management meeting. What's time for that meeting? Yeah. Oh, I think usually on it's on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Um. I can check the calendar and just send it to you. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, in, in, okay. Wait, the developers called that on the Tuesday. Mm. Okay, I think we are running out of we are already off time. Um, yes. yes, thank you everybody for joining. This was a very full call. <laughs> Who wants thank to it next week or next two weeks rather? Who wants to? Yeah, that's I would like to facilitate it next week. Next two week. weeks. Thank you. Next week. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you, May Blessing, for doing an awesome job. Thank you very much. I did not talk too much today. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you very much for coming around. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye